and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. Today I'm going to be going over how the Madden market has been impacted or affected, however you want to say it, by the brand new playoff promo. The playoff promo did just drop about 40 minutes ago, give or take. It was a little bit of a commotion with the free 95 player that we thought we were getting that we have screenshots of that Madden did end up switching, which kind of sucks. We were really excited about that free 95 player, but the market still should be pretty impacted. We did get 12 brand new playoff heroes as well as two playoff masters. So a grand total of about 14 players. So it definitely should be impacting the market at this point. So we're going to check that out, go over all that for you guys. Now, guys, before we get into the video, always remember, make sure to go down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. We are about 400 subs away from 17,000. That's unreal. We just hit 16,000 like two or three days ago. You guys have been killing it. All you guys who are new, come join the family. It's going to be a long grind to the end of the year. The year end goal is 45,000 subs. And the season of Madden goal for this Madden is going to be about 25K. So we're on a very good pace for it. Just keep running it up. And if you're here on Noti Gang or you're watching the vid, always make sure to run that like button up. Can we get 500 likes on this market video? Guys, I've had my best week on YouTube view-wise in the history of my YouTube career. That's because you guys have been smashing like buttons. Noti Gang, keep going strong. Keep smashing that like button. Get me 500 likes. And comment down below what you guys think of the market and what are your moves right now. Now let's head over to the market to go check the prices of these players first. And then we're going to check out how things are impacted. Let's go see. These are 95 overall cards. So obviously, they're, they're some of the best cards in the game. Now, their stats don't exactly match up to what they should. They're, they're rated, but they're still some of the best cards in the game. So you have to be pretty excited for them. And they should impact the market however you look at it. So 94 to 95. Now let's go check this out. They're going for 334K as 95 overalls. Now, as you guys remember, this is kind of the standard price for a lot of 95s right now. But since there's such a surplus of 95s, we have to imagine that this should be altering the market to an extent now in my opinion are these worth picking up if you guys have watched my content video at 10 30 you will see my overall opinion in my opinion i do like daniel hunter guys if you're gonna be spending coins right now daniel hunter is really really good and some of the masters are really really good but other than that i'm not a fan of most of these cards here they all have a use don't get me wrong but for my hard-earned coins i think daniel hunter one of the few guys i'll actually end up spending my coins on if i did want him obviously but i have a, i have a pretty solid left end right now now let's check out the master prices 599 not bad now i think that these will probably these will probably settle in around high 400k when things are all said and done more than likely because at the end of the day 95 overalls 96 overalls are going for about in the mid 400s i think they'll probably settle around the high 400 because champ bailey is really really good but give it some time obviously and we will see what the, as time goes what we're working with now let's head on over to the brand new the, let's go down not the brand new let's head on down to the lower overall sets a little overall quality uh, placeholders. Let's see if we can find what the market's looking like right now. Let's go to the 88s. So let's see what the 88s are looking like. Let's see. So they say 49K, which they definitely do not go for 49K. That definitely means that I have to filter it out. NFL playoffs, 44K. So that's weird. So prices are up right now. Way up. It's very interesting. So the playoff promo dropped and prices are looking like they're way up. Interesting to say, to say the least, quite honestly, because I was not expecting this at all. Now let's go over to the 90s, 91s, and let's see what we're working with here. The 90s are also up. See, this is weird. Even on Legend Saturday, prices have come up quite a bit. Now, I was not expecting this, considering you would think the playoff market would have crashed the market a little bit. Now, it's weird to think about. Like, I don't have an exact reasoning behind why the playoff market might have went up. Very interesting. Very interesting. Let's go up a little bit more. Let's see what the 92-93s are looking like because it's got to be... Let me see if I can find something here. So, 92 overalls, 130. They're, they're back up. They really are back up. Let's see some of the series reduxes. The redux probably shouldn't be impacted much because they are redux cards. This is, this is weird. All right, so this is a massive market shift. Like, things went up. The kindling shift plus the brand new cards really did lead way to brand new stuff as far as prices. Let's go to the Ghost of the Future. Ghost of Future, 172. Guys, these were like 130, 140, 150 max. Things are up, up right now. This is unreal. Guys, if you have cards, I recommend you start selling. You start selling now because here's the thing. More playoff cards will be coming out as well as Team of the Year soon and NFL Honors and Super Bowl. Guys, you guys are lucky. You survived the playoff crash, but you will not survive the Team of the Year crash. I'm telling you, playoffs being weird right now. I don't know if this is, a, this is I don't know why it's doing this, but I'm telling you, 
more than likely it's just a kindling increase yesterday probably changed some values but the team of the year will destroy the market so i highly recommend you guys take enjoy this enjoy this uprise in prices because it'll be the last time we're gonna see prices like these for a while enjoy it take advantage of it and make sure to go make coins off of this because i highly doubt we see this much more than we do right now and there are so many cards even when you filter them out like 145 and even when i filter them out they were still expensive cards are up right now let's go check out the 94 to 95 range let's go check out some of the nfl 100s go through all of them see kind of what we're working with here and, okay <laughs> Edmund smith is 250 that's that's gonna blow my mind right now nfl 100 250 now for Emmett smith he was like 190 215 let's see what else is one up the quarterbacks aren't gonna be touched too much although tom brady did go up a little bit eric dickerson's back in the 400k range almost lawrence taylor 450 Guys, some of these cards greatly increased, surprisingly. I did, And even if they only went up by like 30, 40K, remember that is the reduction cost you were gonna lose before. So now you're probably making back on reduction and maybe even making a little profit after that, which makes it an ideal time to sell your team. I think, at least in my opinion, it's an ideal time to sell your team. Let's check out the Legends. Yeah, Mon Green was like 190 to 210. Now he's 260. The new, the new Legends obviously are gonna be expensive, but they did just come out, which is Dwight Freeney, Jordan Gross, and Antoine Randall L, which is the new LTD which I didn't really think you guys would care too much about, which is why I didn't make it in the video earlier, but it was kind of cool that we're getting LTD Legends again. Now, let's see. Are there series Redux in this range? We have the Chris Johnson, 275. I mean, not much to say about that. He's 94 overall. Now, let's see some of the playoff cards to see if they're coming down at all since the beginning of this video. No, they're staying stagnant. They're staying strong. They're staying at their value. Now, this is surprising. You know, the market took a weird turn here. So, in my opinion right now, guys, I think it's prime time to start selling. If prices are up this much, sell now because in the next few days, when new stuff coming out, as well as team of the year, I promise you, team of the year is going to crash the market. It has to. There's no way around it not. In my opinion, it, it, I think that's the, kind of the only route it's going to end up taking. Now, yeah, yeah, no, there's too many cards coming. Team of the year, I know for a fact, will crash it. This is this is a surprising turn of events. But you know what it is too? The playoff cards aren't that great. That that has to be the only reasoning behind it. Like, like I said, out of all these cards that were dropped, I literally like two of them, which is like Daniel Hunter and Champ Bailey. And Champ Bailey is the only one I'll probably end up buying. He's a master, so that's not even like... And they're just masters, right? They're their own separate entities. 96s. These are the cards that were going to saturate the market, and they did not do such because of the nature of their stats. Like, they're just not great. Like, Devontae Adams is too slow. Sean Watson can't be powered up. Bayard doesn't have great hit power. Tremaine Evans is a typical linebacker. Travis Kelsey is better than Tony G. Brandon Brooks and the linemen, I mean, they're great and all, but we just got a whole NFL 100 drop of linemen. Marshall Lynch is too slow. D4 has no finesse move. Stephon Gilmore is a little bit too slow. Breeze is a pocket passer. So he's in his own, he's in his own realm there. I'm just saying, there's an issue with all these cards, which is surprising. I don't know why they'd go this route. I'm telling you, it's the bait. It's the typical Madden bait. They want you to buy these cards to the new cards. Realize they're not that great. They get the new team of the year cards. You have to sell them all for less money. They need to go buy coins or buy packs because you lost so many coins. It's just typical Madden. And so typical, it's, it's ridiculous. Now, check out the Madden goes to pass see what they're working at right now bojack look they're in the 320s they were just 245 two days ago things have skyrocketed in value but don't fall for the bait don't start buying cards do not buy cards do not buy cards right now go ahead sell cards and by the way sorry for my voice i'm a little sick but go sell cards go make all your coins build up that coin stack and be ready for team of the year i'm telling you playoffs is in my opinion i didn't really like the playoffs I don't like the players. I only like the Masters. Playoffs is a short, quick hitter promo. Team of the Year is going to be the big banger in the NFL 100 Super Bowl. So make sure that you go ahead, you go sell off some cards, go build up that coin stack, make money off this big increase in price, and then go ahead and go go enjoy. Go enjoy your coins. Go hold on to them. Build a massive coin stack, and then go spend it all on Team of the Year and Super Bowl. And then you could probably ride out those like Super Bowl and Team of the Year. Those are some end game players, in my opinion. So you could definitely enjoy with those players like i'm not even joking like those players last the entire year and they don't have to if you have a lot of coins but like for people on a budget like you can easily rock those players out to the end of the year so you should have no issue doing so which is why i recommend you wait for the team of the year these players are not gonna be end game cards there's not so many of these on the block people are really not interacting with this playoff promo right now but guys that's better for the video i'm in all of this market i did not think this would happen but it did so take advantage of it if you guys are new to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell boys come join the family can we get 17k within the next three or four days by the end of the week? The week that I started out, it's not the exact calendar week. We're off on that already. But as well, can we get almost? Can we get close to 500 likes on a market video today? Like I said, we typically don't average those numbers, but this week we have been averaging crazy like numbers. 
crazy amount of views. You guys have been killing it. Having my best week on YouTube as far this far. That's because Naughty Gang has been going crazy. You guys have been killing it. If you guys keep Naughty Gang keeps up the support, we'll hit 25k in no time, and we will on our way to making ourselves a bigger channel in this community, guys. Thank you for all that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to check out the other two videos I will be posting today regarding the playoff promo and some other stuff. That's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.